Okay, it's time to... It's time to... Craft a Sunfire build. It is time. So there was supposed to be a tank build, but nah, it's gonna look different. Wait, let me, yeah, whatever. Okay, so this is gonna be the start. And build the Trinity. Boots would depend. Boots depend well I mean let's let's make it more detailed I guess. Make it more detailed this time. You know update the other build as well later. So this would be basically the first recall. Right? So this is the start. Maybe put this in the in there as well. And this would be pretty much the full build. So depending on you know, this is gonna be the tank build. If they have heavy AD, heavy physical damage, you would go Tavis. If they have MR, heavy CC, you go Mercury Roots, of course. But yeah, you would go Tiamat and then Sunfire. So you wouldn't finish Hydra. I guess it, it's just... Like, the new Hydra is nice. But it's like... You don't necessarily need the sustain. And the damage... You know? Especially, like, depending on the comp you're playing against. This could be in many, many ways be more useful, especially if you get it as early as possible. So that's why you just skip the Hydra and save on the gold and get the Sunfire quicker. It's much more worth it than rushing the Hydra for the most part. So it would be Sunfire, Boots. I mean, you could get Boots early, I guess. It's whatever. But you could then go Hydra or you go hello or you go phantom dancer like the phantom dancer is a good replacement to for trinity it's a decent substitute trinity item so since you can't build trinity this this does the job even more attack speed than trinity seven person movement speed and you get the bonus movement uh, passive movement speed on top of that and also bonus attack speed if you get the full full passive activated and you ignore you uh, units so yeah it's even in in a lot of cases even a better alternative like a better choice to trinity right you know it's nice that it's really convenient that the uh sunfire gives uh, uh mr now it gives less armor but you can compensate that with the boots no problem but it's nice that it gives some MR now, so you don't have to buzz, buzz, worry about MR if the enemies have a mixed comp, mixed damage output. So you could just go straight from the Sunfire into the next item. In this case, would be Phantom Dance, I would say, or you could just finish the Hydra afterwards. You know, after Sunfire, or at least after you get the Phantom Dance, and then you can finish the Hydra if you want to. But yeah, and that would be. Death Dance is probably good, again, depending on if they have um, a lot of physical damage. Also, this item is nice to have that, you know, just sitting on this item, some more bonus movements. Do this. This bug is so annoying. But it is a nice item. It's cheap, gives some decent HP, and 5% movement speed. So if you needed that movement speed, you could just sit on this while getting your other items, and then eventually get to Death Dance with that. But yeah, depending on how heavy they are on what kind of damage, you could go Death Dance after all these items, at least after Phantom Dancer, or I would probably say 
Woodsand. Where is Woodsand? Hello? Holy fuck, I gotta get used to these icons. So you could go either one. And this is pretty much the full build, isn't it? Wait. Yeah, that's pretty much the full build. You know, you get these items, pretty much the last two items. Building first, depending on what you need more. A lot of attack speed, a lot of movement speed, a lot of tankiness, and the damage is still there as well. Yeah, this, this is my build now. This is probably going to be my favorite build. It's not about rushing a, a Hydra now, as I would usually, because I guess it's not as useful. I guess with the AD build, with the Dust Plate build, I would stick, rush, st stick to rushing the Hydra. You know, more sustained gameplay. If you want to go heavy damage with the Berserkers and then you go other heavy items. So it makes sense to rush the Hydra and then just get the Dust Plate. But in this case, with the bonus HP, you don't really need that. You don't need the Hydra rush. It just this gives a way better power supply compared to it. Like that's the thing, if you have more HP, or especially early game, if you have more HP, you have better sustain in the in the jungle, so you're less dependent on that sustain from the from the hydro. So this is gonna be the tank build. Okay, let's play it. Titanic Hydra, sure, you might want to get Titanic Hydra with that build, but I just don't like Titanic Hydra. I don't build. Like, I, you should definitely get the Hydra at least third, if not second item of the Sunfire and Boots. Because that, that sustain is still, <clears throat> like, you might be fine with the sustain in the jungle, but this, this thing about the Hydra is it gives you active sustain in team fights against champions, you know? Sure, Titanic might give you some additional tankiness and maybe even better damage in some cases. But the way it works, it just isn't nice. Also no, act, no sustain from it. <clears throat> 